second gangway. Guard there too, I'm taking it. Door's here. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Aw, oh, shit. The alarm's gone, man. You okay? Are you okay, man? You gotta go. Drink tea. Where are you at? Not far out, so you better find this thing quick. The scan eater dive gear will be reading its signal. Okay. What sort of signals it giving off? The kind that gets crazier the closer you get. Find it. I'll come in and pick it up. I ain't there yet, T. There's a team of guys waiting on you, Mike.
Man, you can say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that a master? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. Woo! You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You can fuck with them all day long. But when you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is going to be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps. Hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What do you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah? I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck! Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed! What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Hey, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. What a fucking loon. Classic. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Why I am too. about this. I'm not into you. I'm bi, but this is so inappropriate for the workplace. What? My special place is inappropriate? My heart? I'll tell you what. Touch my heart. Place your hand on my central... You got place. lucky, buddy. Right? Let me breathe deep. Actually, I can't afford nicotine gum, so I just emptied a bunch of butts out into regular gum and rolled it up, and that's what I'm chewing. You an addict, girl. You is an addict. You gotta go cold tofu turkey. Next, cola! Hi, Dr. Ray. Hi, Nurse Cheryl. I love this show. You've got me through some real spiritual crises in the past. I called in once before, 
then you told me to stop acting like a little kid and grow up. And did you, friend? I sure did. I left my mom's house that day and went out to act like an adult. I committed adultery, and I cheated on my tax returns, which are the fastest Look ways out. to feel grown up. Oh, that is such a touching story. We really do make a difference. That is true. There are many ways of getting tool in nature, and fraud and messing around in your old lady are but two of them. Like a haunted chameleon of love. Damn you fine, girl. Don't you think we should really be spiritual together? Making a beast with two backs? Look, I drew a cave picture over here on the wall. That, that's just two stick figures and a bunch of lines. Ray, if you're channeling your ancestors and that's really who's drawing this, they're terrible artists. Those lines? <laughs> you don't get it, girl. Those lines are zebra print sheets. Only made out of silk on a round bed. Because I only do it in the round. That's us becoming spiritually connected. Nakedness, souls seeping all over the place. Full, sweaty, chocolate attack without the Ray D'Angelo Harris. I like to remind people of my seminars on the first weekend of every month. Tell them more about it, Cheryl. Join Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris the first weekend of every month for a spiritual retreat at the Los Santos Civic Center. There's going to be free parking. Of Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. <sighs> The FIB is making me, let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts, you're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. 
Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Thank you. 